hey welcome back this is 3d in css3 project video number four so in the last video number three we created this um, hover effect flipping hover effect and putting the content in both side we learned that let's save the file first save as um, content both side like so okay all right so I said that I'm gonna build the um, cube right so let's build the cube in the next video okay so let's build the um, lighting house effect stacking order effect okay so let's do that so to do, do that we need to have uh, more classes copy this we need to have six of them one two three four oh no we need to have one two three four five six Let's put seven, eight, up to nine, ten. Okay, so nine and ten, nine and zero. Let's put zero. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. I'm doing this. Do, um, I'm doing this because it's easier to fix it right now, and then we'll do the um, cube thing in the next video. Okay, just bear with me. So we just added ten span tags in there with the class name called object one two zero. Okay, so we just have to style them like so. We'll keep it this format. We'll keep this format. Just copy this and paste the name for a few more times and we'll be done shortly just bear with me I'm gonna change the name shortly just bear with me do not freak out I know what I'm doing just bear with me okay so let's change this name to three four five six seven eight nine and then the last one zero okay looks good all right all right okay as you can see so um all right so we want to stack right we want to stack the number on top of each other so that we have let's also keep this rotation on yeah like so let's also uh, make it slow 13 seconds or 10 seconds yeah let's put five seconds okay let's quickly do that and quickly do our thing all right so Only for the uh, back ones we need to put the minus value so 2 is in the back so we, that's why you kept the minus 1 minus 100 degree and minus 100 pixels we can omit that let's put everything in the front okay so so from let's put the 0 in the object 1 so that we can see in from the both side we can we want to see one from both side okay all right so and from there we want to add the 50 pixels distance all right and we also want to want to um, remove these numbers from there just that uh, not that we want to keep the translate 100 
and uh, there we go yeah so and now we're gonna simply copy this so change this name to three four five six seven eight nine and then zero and we'll be done and we're we are um placing them 50 pixels each so 100 pixels 150 pixels 200 pixels 250 pixels 300 pixels 350 pixels um 400 pixels 450 pixels and that's it and that's how you do that okay how cool is this if we so it's acting weirdly because we also have the hover effect on so let's comment this out so it's gonna do the thing it's in a way we want to give it a perspective less perspective value so that we can we have a um, better view so this is in the container se uh, selector let's put this perspective value 800 to uh, 600 yes there you go if we put like 300 yeah it means it's closer it's closer to your eyes okay that's too much let's put 500 and that's how it's been done okay and with the minus value minus numbers you can add the uh, content in the, this direction okay uh, other direction if you add the uh, minus values in here with other objects yeah other classes if we add uh, other classes and add the minus value like minus 50 minus 1 100 so on it will be added to this direction okay and that how that, that is how it's been done and i hope you like it it's that simple so yeah so this is done now we will be creating the cube six sided six sides cube in css3 okay so yeah i'll catch you in the next video so thank you for tuning in Take care, bye. I'll catch you in the next video.